Here at the 2011 Monterey Reunion, Mazda is celebrating the 20th anniversary of winning the 24 Hours of Le Mans by bringing the winning 787B to this year's event. Despite going up against much larger budgets of other manufacturers, Mazda surprised the world in 1991 with its rotary engine technology. Yohiro Torado, a veteran of 29 starts of Le Mans, will drive it this weekend. Sound is a very nice sound because we are special tuning sound and uh, racing cars uh, uh, for spectators and uh, the speed and the air vibration and the sound and the smell. And uh, this car, and, uh, special 1991, we, we made uh, tuning, sound tuning. Yes, this is a special exhaust system. The distinctive sound of that Le Mans winning car with its rotary engine brought back some great memories. This truck is a very fun and a very exciting truck and a complete difference of Le Mans style and a very up and down and a very twisty and uh, I think it's uh, for, of course, uh, this truck is uh, for special setup for this truck. It's uh, very difficult but very fun to drive. Mazda is once again heading back to Le Mans, this time with their latest engine technology called Skyactiv. Racing's truly in the DNA of Mazda. Their involvement with Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca goes far beyond traditional sponsorship, and it starts with a passion for racing. Well, I mean, we feel that it's just core to our own being, you know. Uh, uh, there's a lot of opportunities to do marketing in other sports, but we're a small company that really uh, is passionate about our motorsports and our heritage in motorsports. So we like participating in things. So motorsports allows us to participate in this activity. Davis races his own Mazda RX-7, but this weekend gets to pilot the 787. This car was built in 1989. Uh, it's got a four rotor R26. Uh, it came in eighth at Le Mans in 91 when the 55 car, the sister car, won. Uh, it's a very unique car because it's built specifically for Le Mans. Uh, the four-rotor is an R26B, uh, a completely bespoke race engine. Um, the car is really good. It runs on Dunlop tires. We've made some changes to it for this weekend, but we restored it last year, made new body work for it, painted it, got it looking good. Uh, we're really excited. I, the car is a lot better than the driver. Well, for Mazda, this track has been a perfect match for the past decade. A couple of things that really make it work worthwhile for us. A, this unique setting. You know, this, this track is in the middle of a park and all the proceeds from this track go to charities, local charities. So we really like that aspect. Also, it's a great track to tune your street cars. Obviously not on weekends like this, but it's a great place to come and tune our street cars and all of our cars come here for tuning. So that combination of the charity element how beautiful the track is. The location here in California where our headquarters are just made it obvious. And it's been a decade now and we're really happy with the, the partnership. Mazda's made a big impact in racing on this track and in the community of Monterey and they've done it right. 